Tip 10. <coughs> oh, this. So we're gonna, I'm going to do a tuning session. Well, I'm going to do two types of tuning session, a basic one and then a more advanced one. But um, I think we have a mix of Nancy Greeners, uh, U10ers, U12ers here. I'm going to bring some of my athletes down here too. But based on watching your kids ski, all your kids would benefit from kit one. Is um, probably the way they ski every three to four days, like for the Nancy Greeners, every two to three weekends should be sharpening your skis. For the U10s, U12s, almost every two training days, so that's almost every weekend. So kit one to me is a soft stone, a hard stone, and a file. Which you don't buy a Canadian tire, you buy in a ski shop. It's actually a special file, a chrome file. It's a harder file, lasts longer. One file lasts. If you're only tuning every, if it's Nancy Green, if you're tuning, it'll probably last you five years. U10, U12, it'll probably last you two years. But I mean, it'll last a while. So, and a file guide. So, I'll show you. Is that yours? Yeah, that's fine, yeah, thanks. So first things first, so kit one. So this you can almost buy at every ski store, but it's a little bit confusing because it comes in many colors and many degrees. So uh, what I'll explain is, Right now, the basics for, so if someone asks me in this tuning session, it's all about, will waxing make a difference? So we're going to do the basic tuning session first, which is all about sharpening. If you have a choice between your glass of red wine Friday night and waxing and a glass of red wine and sharpening, pick number two. Number one will make less of a difference. Number two will make a huge difference. A glass of wine for you and the uh, sharpening for your kids. So if this is a tradition, this is a ski. We're looking, I'm gonna dry this. Okay, so this is the view of the ski. If we cut it right here, right, right, cross right in half, cross section. All right, so if you look at the side of every ski, every side of every ski, you have your edge. And your edge actually goes into the, it's a thin layer of base, and the edge goes into the base a little bit. So this is your edge. So everyone sees that you've got your edge. We've got some in the end. And we have something here, a little step, which we call a sidewall which is not usually your friend when you're sharpening, and I'll tell you why after. So typically, when you buy a ski from the store, if you remember your math, if you have two, what's that angle? 90 degrees. It comes 90. And what happens is, is when you're skiing, and I put this, and I put this on edge, so when 90 is, and this is the snow, what happens if it's 90 degrees and the ski's on a lot on edge? It's, 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 is it a good, I mean, 90 if, you know, if it's not on a big angle, it's, it's still the edges on, there's lots of edge touching the snow, right? So if we put the ski like this, let's see if I can draw upside down here. On a less of an angle, you know, I still get some, I still get a good edge. But at a strong angle, how much edge do I actually have in the snow? Not much. So what we do is we actually, so when I said, the first thing to understand is when you buy one of these, they come in 90 degrees, 89 degrees, 88 degrees, 87 degrees, 86 degrees. And every time, we, so that's 90. 
So if this is the edge, now 89 is what? One degree less. 88, a little bit less, I'll exaggerate. 87, so you get a, a much finer edge. So we're actually going from 90 and going in, so when we tip it over, we actually get a stronger edge, right? So for Nancy Greeners, up to U12, 88 degrees is fine. So you're gonna buy a two degree or an 88 degree file guide. So basics. I'll do the basic sharpening and then I'll do a more advanced sharpening. So you need an elastic in your kit. And for the basic tuning session, um, if you want to save money and buy the reduced kit, a file, file guide in this, a good file is 30 bucks, good file guide, 30, 40 bucks, and a stone, a hard stone you can buy a Canadian tire, five bucks, and then a soft stone. This one I could cut it up into six pieces and sell each for five bucks, because this, this, this would last me my whole lifetime. And it comes in double the size, so I cut it in half with a hacksaw. So a soft stone, 10 bucks. So that would be your basic kit. The challenge with the basic kit is, is we're only, when we say we're, we're, we're going to actually um, sharpen the edges, how many edges do you have? One, two, three, four. Well, you really have eight, because there's an edge on the flat side. You have an edge here on this side and then the edge on the flat side. Your basic kit is only sharpening, where's my marker? We're only sharpening one side. This one here. So how do I, how do I make sure the bottom is sharp or flat or good? You guys probably ski 30, 40 days a year. Most people here ski 30, 40 days a year. 10 weekends, two, two days a weekend, 20 weekends, is if your ski looks like this, it's time to take them into the shop and go through the machine, and that's a $50 job. <clears throat> Once a year, you do a $50 job, they'll fix your bases, they'll flatten your ski, and they'll actually ask you, <clears throat> how many degrees do you want on the bottom? What? We talked about degrees on the side, but how many degrees do you want on the bottom? It goes the opposite way. So this is zero degrees, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, one degree. So it actually goes like this. And why, why is if the more, more you're at zero, the, the, your ski feels very, what we call raily. It's hard to start to turn. It's very aggressive and grabby. It's very grabby. At 0.5, less grabby. 0.7, way less grabby, but can still be sharp. So for you guys, for the kids, 0.7 and 88 degrees. So two degrees here, oops, two degrees here two degrees, and point, point 0.7 for the bottom. And I'll show sorry, you. Sorry, can you stop do it again, but I'll let that, because I can't see through your back very well. Okay, so, sorry. Can you show me? So, for the base bevel, right. on the all the Nancy Greens, anyone, uh, U12, GS, U10, GS, point 0.7 base bevel, mm -hmm. which means that the edges are not touching the snow, they're a little bit up from the snow, which allows the ski to initiate easier. If the skis are flat, if the edges are at zero degrees, it gets very grippy and very hard. And the kids, they don't have the strength to, to, for the skis to, uh, to be that grabby. So basic kit, 100 bucks, I guess, roughly. So a file, file guide, soft stone, and a hard stone. Uh, and 50 bucks a year per ski, per set of skis to get them through the machine once a year to clean out the bases, grind the bases, flatten the bases so they're even, and then you never have to do the flats. So, and so, and then if you want to save the 50 bucks, then you buy another 50 bucks of tools, and then in the advanced one, I'll show you how to sharpen the, 
the flat file. So let's just do the basic, basic kit for now. So first thing, for me the basic kit always has a hard stone in it because the first thing I do is I check, oh, uh -huh, hit a rock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you come here and you actually feel, if you come here, I mean there is along the edge, the edge is the smoothest, the smoothest edge is, is the sharpest edge, just like a razor blade. When you hit a rock, you actually, the edge actually gets all, you burr. You get a burr. Yeah. And this actually helps deburr. So right here, what is it right here? We actually have a pretty big burr. And if you listen, first I do it flat. I can actually, now I'm getting rid of the burr. Almost no burr left now. Let's get it. Let's do it on the side. Okay, now the burr's gone. There's still a couple minor ones here. Ooh. Pretty good. So hard stone is to deburr. A soft stone is to detune, and we'll, we'll show you what to do. So this is always good because nine out of ten times your kids do hip rocks, and it helps. So hard stone, soft stone. All right, we're lucky enough. So part of kit one is you can do your ski on the ground in your basement on your knees but um, a set of vices is a good investment this is a pretty rudimentary set of vices but rudimentary is better than non all right so basic kit so there's two types of kits this is the normal set you get a file you get a file guide and you get a clamp I always use two clamps because if the file moves, what happens to your angle? It gets ugly. And we want a perfect angle. How many degrees, Mia, do we want? 88. 88, all right, so that's like two degrees, right? And we don't want it to go 88, 89, 87, 88, or 91, 88, right? And I'm old enough that this is how I used to tune. 90 and your fingernails were your guides and I still can tune like that but what happened was after a while you'd wear off your nails then you would cut your hand and then you would do a whole bunch of stuff the uh, every year I forget something there is um, a glove you can buy you can you get my Canadian tire I saw them recently Kevlar gloves a tight Kevlar glove so that if you do slip you know, the most common ski sharpening injury is like cutting a bagel. You know, those people cut bagels yeah. and they cut themselves right in the meat of the hand. It's the same, you go to the emergency room, they're like, bagel? And you say, no, oh, skier. Okay. <laughs> so they, they actually know. So it's good to use a glove, but I've been tuning for a while. I don't use a glove, but now I do because I bought something else we'll show you later. So basic kit number one comes with one clamp. And the entire year will go buy a second clamp. Or you can upgrade. Remember, I said this was 30 bucks and 30 bucks, 60 bucks. This is 50 bucks, and this is 20. 20, yeah, about 20. So it comes out to about be the same, except now it doesn't move. It's stable, 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 and it's a little bit quicker, a little less cumbersome. And there's actually a place to hold your finger and try. So, kit number one. So rule number one is is the hardest part is. So this has a smooth side and a not smooth side. So smooth side against the base, and you always sharpen with the base facing away from you because you want to always use the same movement all the time. So now if I switch edges, see the tip is there, 
what happens when I switch to the other edge? Where am I going to start now? In the old days, they said, oh, you always have to go tip to tail. It was really important. No difference. It's, it's to keep that same identical motion each side. So, file guide, smooth side, rough side, smooth side goes here. And the file, there's a, multiple ways to put it, but there's only one way to put it. That, uh, you'll see if you use your finger and you run up, uh, the ladies who do their nails know that one side, you know, one side is actually, I go this way, I can slide it. This way I can't. So that's where the teeth, so you always want the teeth, when you pull it, to sharpen. So teeth, I mean, I don't know how to explain it here. Used to be that when I had it on the other side, tail to tail. But basically, uh, put the cutting edge down, and you'll see that I put the file in a little bit of a a little bit of an angle. And the reason I put the file in a little bit of an angle is your skis come like this, right? The tail is wider. It's narrow, narrower and wider. So if I had a small block of wood, if this was a block of wood and I had a file and I laid the file across like this and I started to sharpen, what would happen to this concave? It would get less. If I now only took a file and laid it on an angle and only ran it along the concave, I would keep that same angle of concave. So it's, you know, uh, if I were to put this file flat down, straight on this file guide, it's touching everywhere, which kind of eats the side cut of the ski. So always on an angle, and plus the teeth bite better when it's on a small angle. So, I always have two. Now Mia, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna test. So, when you have, we check for burrs. First thing, we check for burrs. And now we start light, light, long strokes. And your hand always supports the ski so you can move it along. And as you see, I'm getting these file, fine file shavings. So if you're in your basement, I would lay down a, a, a tarp uh, because after a while it does and why do I wear? So second thing is, cheapest part of the equipment is you clean off the edge so you don't get all those filings when you go for your second pass. So a lot of people stand in one place and try to sharpen far away. File should be pretty close to you, support it, and look at my feet. Even in ski boots, what are my feet always doing? Feet are always moving. So already, so uh, I, what's, what degrees do you do your skis at? 88. You do it at 88? Ask your voice, I think you do it at 87. <laughs> because it's 87. It's 87? 87. Whatever they do for racing. I'll be waiting uh, I know, because I just... So You're I'm, doing the same way. I'm looking at his edge. If I'm looking at his edge, right now, half of it is shiny and the other half is not. So 87. So I know I'm on the wrong. So now I'll take an 87. So first things first is, and what I normally do is, so what is your flat? Do you know what your flat is? So normally I write. I say 0.5. At the bottom of my ski, yeah. 88. And then I write, I write what it is. Yeah. So if they go to the store and they don't know or you forget to tell them, it's there. And then if somebody else tunes your skis, it's there. Yep. So that way it's always good. So I always write because remember I said, this was good for U10, Nancy Green, U12, no problem. But when you get up to the older ages, you start going 0 .5, 87 for slalom, uh, sometimes 0 .3, 
86 for Super G. Uh, so it really depends. Actually, it goes the other way for Super G.7. Um, so it, it changes by discipline on how you want the ski to react. Basics, 0.7 makes the ski turn easier, initiate easier, makes it easier to roll, not so grabby. In 88, <coughs> just allows you. But the problem with going more angle than 88 when the kids are young is one, if they hit a rock, the edge is, the angle's so acute that it takes a while to get sharp again because the angle's so acute. So when I say acute, it means that if I, if this is 90, and I've taken off some from the bottom and some from the side, it's very, it's very sharp. So, what did I say? Stay close to the file, support it with your hand. Do we have to muscle it? Light stroke forward, it's not even touching. And at the beginning, you don't, you can even lift it off and just pull towards you. And then we brush it off and you see, there's like tons of file dust here. I've barely done anything. Wipe it off. So, Mia, $1,000 skis. Come over here. No pressure. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick a mom. Okay, so grab this. So one, I'm gonna see if you alert and listen. Okay, so put this on here. So, this one actually has an arrow to show you which way it's supposed to go. That's, that's easy, so the arrow goes that way. So why are you putting it on an angle? So it, um, it doesn't lose the... Yeah, that makes sense. So it doesn't eat the side cut, it's probably easier to say. Okay, good, put it on here, yeah. Tighten it, good. You tighten it pretty hard, okay. Good. Now, which side goes where? No, always shiny side goes on your base. Okay, now you're gonna stand this way. Find the trigger here, hold it with one hand. Okay, and remember, what do we do? We support, okay? Now just do light stroke. Yeah, light, okay. Okay. When you pull, it can be a little bit harder. Okay, not, not bad. One is it is a little bit wobbly sometimes. So it's important that you get used to the, the pretty firm, like so it'll wobble like this and sometimes you'll slip and that's where you cut yourself. But here, Mia, I would say just when you pull, Push just a little bit harder, so try it again. But your technique was good, your feet were moving all the time. Again. Yeah, just, just see how wobbly it could be. So make sure it's pretty firm. Now pull, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, who laughed? So you can come back. Come over here. Okay, struggle. Okay, it's good, it's good. And, okay, so Mia stopped right here. You've got to go all the way as far as you can on the tip. All right, we brush it off. I'll do the brushing. Okay, Mia, good. Okay, we'll do the test again. Now we put the file on. Kind of spin this around a little here. Yeah. Oh, and tell me where it's the sharpest and where it's the dullest. So come, somebody come up. And, so okay. Where's it? Where's it dull? It's it's very dull. So okay. Um, it's so which. Sometimes it's duller back here after you sharpen. Uh, who do we have on our team? No, that, that whole problem with keeping the edge even is I have to start and go until 
it's it's sharp here. But good technique. You actually had you know good strength, you know good strength, and I'll just. Uh, okay, so. Basics to tuning, so now we're a lit up. Oh, now there's only about this much dull. This is sharp, sharp here, dull here, sharp here. So we shrunk by doing it once. So generally, if you tune every, and that's where I did the, so remember there was a burr yeah. earlier? Where there's a burr, when metal gets hit, struck hard, very fast, it gets harder. So that's why, Having a stone helps soften it up again because you could actually hear it when I get to the burr. Like it's not going to be sharp here because I can even sh I can see this. Like if I look at the edge, I can see the the, the burr. It's about one inch long, and of course, it's always at the most important part of the ski. Having a burr here is not so bad. Having a burr under the foot, uh, so. So even one shot of a diamond stone, and I can the bird is coming out. So now we have a hard stone. What's the hardest rock? A diamond. A diamond. So a diamond stone is great for polishing, for finishing. You know, that's in kit ten. You know, because there's like ten stages to get to kit ten. Basic kit. File, sharpen the edges. Why don't we sharpen the bottom? Because you're going to go to, the, you're going to get your skis put across the machine once a year at Tommy and Faith or Tommy and Faith, uh, Morning Lice, Kunstad, uh, Leonardo's, wherever. And uh, generally, I would do it at the beginning of the year, not the end of the year. Then you're going to give your wonderfully nice new skis to you're selling them the next year probably. And I wouldn't do them the day before a race. A lot of people do that because it actually really changes uh, how the ski feels and is. So I would do it at the beginning of the year, like you buy a used pair of skis, first thing you do is put them in a belt and then you finish them by hand. And um, the stores will ask you, because their machine by default does everything at once. It does the side edges and does flat by once. So it goes through computerized, goes through one and then also takes off some base. So they'll ask you what you would like. And if they don't, you tell them, or it's written on the back of your ski now, you put it. So, Charlie, come over here, see if you got the, because we still need a little bit more to get this sharper here, but part of that is that burr. Okay, oh, you gotta do that. So that's the basic tune. So usually, uh, you have two types of, Files. This is a coarse and a fine, like in a more. And if you're starting with the kid skis that haven't been done in four years, you start with the coarse file because uh, you know your fine file is the finer, the smoother it is. But coarse is good to get off a lot of edge. And if and generally, if you haven't had skis tuned in a while, the edge actually rounds a little. So you've got to take off some edge to get it. Again, so again, why do I have two of these? They almost look identical. One's coarse, one's fine. Okay. And Vern, just, just for uh, you know clarity, coarse would be the number. Yeah, there's a number of teeth per centimeter. So if there's uh, nine teeth per centimeters or twelve teeth per centimeters, twelve teeth is fine, and nine teeth is less. And it usually says it on the package or when you order it. All right, thousand dollars. Okay, so what, what's the first thing you do? What side goes where? And this is the age that you 12, you uh, uh, even you 10. Okay, shiny side goes against the base. All right. So on okay. your finger on the trigger. Yep, finger on the trigger, and you got to support by the edge. Yeah, go. Yeah, good. Okay, a little bit like me at first, at least they're good. Oh, there we go. Hold it there. Yeah. Good. 
And I think it's good when you start to exaggerate like Charlie, where you, you do a stroke and you lift it, and then you do a stroke and you overlap, and you lift it, and you do a stroke. Obviously, I've been doing it a little bit, a little time, and you barely see that I lift it when I go, but I do lift it, right? So one more stroke, we'll see. And the trick is to keep your feet moving and support it, so you're good. Go. Shiny side goes on the base. Shiny, 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 shiny. So this is what we're sharpening, that edge. The edge has to go here. And it, okay, now you gotta hold your finger here. Here, right there. You got a good firm, so now she's got, you know, four fingers on there, a thumb on the top, that's good. Yeah. And when you pull, yeah, there you go, you got a little more grip. You can push down a little. Yeah. There you go. And so why it's, when you have new files, to sharpen. Even when we sharpen with a file, microscopically, the edge is still, there's still, it's still burry. So sometimes it feels, sharp because the edge is still very burry. Yeah. So with the diamond stone, and this is really good to start off with kids is, so if I had this ski, I would actually probably do two or three passes more with the file, and then I'd do the diamond stone. And then I could actually sharpen with the diamond stone. If I did one diamond stone, watch this. Same, uh, make sure it's three degrees, right? 87 degrees, okay? Is you, you polish the edge. So now we're, we're polishing the edge and you can actually use special polishing oil to even polish it more. Or you can use some water to help polish it. And now I'm removing all, it's getting smoother. Now here it is. Barely any noise here. I can hear the tick, 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 tick. There's some tick on the tail. Finish and polish. So right now, um, if you're gonna get one file for basic yeah, what would you, what sort of courses would you get? Um, you can get a, because uh, uh, even these come in fine, it's fine, like a fine.